Hey guys, it's Mike from MW3 Designs. Uh, did you install LED turn signals in your Ford F-150 and you're having the issue where your turn signal inside on your dash is blinking fast, but the actual light outside is blinking slow, kind of like this, with a fast blink on the inside? And the normal slow blink on the outside? Well, I'm going to show you how we can fix that using the Forescan software. Let's dive right into it. All right, so we're going to be using uh, Forescan for Microsoft Windows, and I'm also using the V Linker FS uh, OBD adapter, which is uh, OBD to USB. So I'm going to go ahead and get this plugged into uh, the OBD port. And we'll go ahead and jump into the software. Okay, so I got my OBD connection all set here. We are going to open the Forescan software. Um, and from here, you are going to scroll down to the bottom here, and you will see this little icon that is connect to vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and click that. Um, I'm going to get a little message here that's just telling me to make sure my ignition key is on. I'm going to go ahead and say OK to that. Um, this here is just a message for my adapter. Um, I don't have my settings inputted in there for this adapter yet, so it's just letting me know that it's not op optimized for maximum performance, but it hasn't given me any issues. So I already have my truck saved in here, so we're just gonna pull that right back up. And it's gonna go through here and just basically initialize like all the modules that you can get into. Uh, once that is done, you're gonna wanna go over to the little microchip icon here. This will bring up all of your modules that you can make changes in. Uh, and for this specific change, we are going to go into the body, body control module and go ahead and hit play at the bottom here. This is gonna bring up everything that you can change in this module. Uh, you could scroll down and look for turn signal, uh, but the easiest way to do this, if you know what you're looking for, is to just go into the filter and I'll just type in turn. And that will bring up all of the turn signal features. And for this instance here of that uh, quick flash inside and the regular flash on the outside, that is for this front bulb turn outage and rear bulb turn outage. Uh, basically, that feature is if you're running regular halogen bulbs, uh, the truck will see a difference in the resistance and it would know that uh, one bulb is out, which would make the quick flash happen on the dashboard to make you aware that you uh, have a light that's out. Uh, making this change is going to turn that system off because you're using the LEDs. Uh, so, you know, if you do get a turn signal that goes out, you won't know it uh, from the, the quick flash anymore. Um, to make these changes, we're going to go click right on front bulb turn outage. As you can see, it is enabled. So we're going to go down here, do edit selected, and we are going to just disable that feature. Check the little box there for OK. Uh, go back over to the rear turn outage. Oops, sorry, rear bulb turn outage. Uh, same thing. That says it's enabled, so we're going to go down here. We're going to do edit selected. We're going to make this disabled. Say OK. All right, now before we do anything else, now that we've made those changes, we have to go down here, and we have to hit right. Basically, this is going to make the changes in the control module, and uh, we'll see what happens. So go ahead and hit right. It's going to just make you verify that you've changed, made these changes from enabled to disabled. I'm going to check this box, hit OK. Then you'll probably hear a little bit of a chime on my dashboard here. All right. Lights flashed. I heard a little chime. It's saying that uh, everything has been done to cycle the ignition off and then back on. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that. I'm gonna click okay. And then I'm just going to hit my turn signal inside. And as you can see, we have the regular flash inside. And let's check and see what we have outside. And we have the normal slow flash on the outside as well. So it looks like that took care of it. Okay, so we're back here in the vehicle. Um, if that is the only changes that we are going to make today, we're just going to go ahead and you want to hit stop service procedure for that module. And then we can go back up here to the vehicle. 
and go right back down here and disconnect from vehicle. And now we are all set. We can disconnect our OBD cord and uh, not be annoyed by that uh, quick flashing light anymore. All right, so if anybody else out there has converted their uh, Ford F-150 over to LED turn signals, uh, this will help them take care of that issue with the fast uh, blinking light on the instrument cluster. Uh, again, we use 4Scan to turn off that bulb outage notification. Um, just keep in mind that you won't have that fast blinking uh, notification anymore if you have a turn signal that's out uh, when using LEDs. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I hope to post more videos, and hopefully this helps some of you guys out there. Thank you for watching.